Access to Biosafety Level 4 labs, or BSLs, is highly restricted. Only microbiologists with specific training and who have been tested in BSL conditions are admitted. Typically, BSL research labs are housed in secure buildings. Once past the building security, it's on to a second barrier at the entrance of the laboratory suite itself. A security card or PIN number, iris scan or fingerprint may be required or some combination of them. Then it's time to strip off and gown up. This can include wearing a full one suit that is sometimes air fed to ensure that if there is a puncture, air leaks out and not into the suit. Walk on through an airlock and a second barrier and another security check. And then you're in the lab itself and there it is the glove box or isolator containing the pathogen. The glove box is held at negative pressure to the lab and the lab held at negative pressure to the room outside. So if there is a leak, the air only flows one way, in. All labs are inspected regularly for even a pinhole sized leak. So how can things go wrong? Through the air vents? Unlikely. All air passes through two H14 HEPA filters, 99.995% efficient for particles down to 0.2 microns in size. Waste disposal? Also unlikely. All waste is disposed of directly from the laboratory into an autoclave, which sterilizes the waste by heating it up to 134 degrees Celsius under high pressure. It then passes out of the autoclave and is usually incinerated on site. Every precaution is taken to reduce the risk of a leak or other accident. And yet, on rare occasions, they do still happen.